Hello everybody out there in RC car loving land on the YouTube and on the Facebook and anywhere else in the world. I've got the HyperGo 816PL on the table today and I was just doing some maintenance. I ran it a few times. It's brand new. I bought it uh, October 1st, 2024, which was about three weeks ago. And I've run two batteries through it out in the yard and it's really fast. It's uh, a lot of fun. It'll really stir up them leaves and uh, that dirt, that sort of thing. And uh, what I did is I've taken it down and taken the shocks off. And what I've done is uh, checked them for oil. And actually, this uh, particular hypergo that came from the factory, uh, it pretty much was full of oil. I topped it off just a little bit, but I didn't really have to add enough of significance. Uh, probably didn't even need to fool with them. They are, they're acting well. I don't have it turned down. Uh, loading the shots at all for what I, my needs. It's pretty good. Now, what I have done, as you can see, I'm bracing this up at the moment, is I uh, tore it down on the front end, and there's quite a bit of disassembly uh, that I found to get everything out safely and not strip out my little uh, Phillips head screws to get to my differential. So I opened it up, and it had some grease in it. They did a pretty good job. I went ahead and topped it off with uh, silicone oil, which this is a differential oil that I buy off of Amazon. It's 7K, plenty enough for me. So basically, what one lesson I've learned is don't put a lot of grease in here. Don't put a lot of grease on the uh, dog legs, that sort of thing, because it just draws dirt. And then at the end of the day, when I spray it with my WD-40 cleanser, I have to... Uh, with my air compressor blow it all off it blows all that grease out of there anyway so i don't really do that i may just put a uh some drops of silicone in there on the dog legs you know after i clean it every time um i don't know exactly how long i need to go before i check these again but i don't run and bash them very hard uh like i said i did put a little fluid in here uh, to top it off i recommend when you get a new one or a used one there's not a lot of maintenance on electrical. I used to have nitro for years. Uh, mainly it's electrical now, and you want to make sure your shocks and your differentials have what they need. So at any rate, I put some, uh, what I like to use is uh, plumber's grease. I'm a retired master plumber in Alabama. This is 300 degrees, up to 300 degrees. It will not melt or sling. Uh, it's used on faucets, things like that. It works just fine for me. So, you know, everybody uses what they want. Uh, we all enjoy our toys and do what we want to do anyway. So I'm going to be working on the rear end, get that done. I'll uh, show when this is tore down on the back. And uh, I'm getting to the point where I can videotape a little bit of me running them. I've got a good little uh, holder for my cell phone now. So at any rate, y'all take care and uh, enjoy your RC cars, especially the HyperGo 816PL, the old man doing stuff. Montgomery, Prattville, Alabama. I'm out of here.